What's happening, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls? My name is Fizz, and yeah, that's right. This is an ARC video. This is an ARC build video. This is an ARC build showcase video of the Renio uh, trailer builds that I did. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's let's jump right in. My name is Fizz. How's everyone doing today? Uh, we're back with another kind of build showcase video of the Rainio's trailer builds. Hopefully you will enjoy and hopefully you may learn a few things or two. We'll, we'll see. So anyways, let's start with uh, we'll start with the tech base since we're already here. So uh, in the uh, original design and concept of this trailer uh the there's a movie and show and game called starship trooper i've never actually personally watched it uh so i had to do a little bit of research on this but when i was asked to build a base from it i was like sure let's just let me do some research and i'll start building it and i think i did a pretty good job to make a smaller version of the base uh granted there is a couple things i would have changed but overall i am very happy with the build and i'm not gonna lie i think it looks pretty cool so let's just start with the uh well let's start with the size and the, the front so uh size wise it need to obviously be, be be big enough to keep the little well this bad boy out uh as you can tell for size comparison i originally made the base roughly around this height uh, and you can tell that most of the base is still this height, but then I had to raise it a little bit uh, because of how big the bug was. So originally, when I laid out the foundations and stuff, I didn't actually take him into account. And, uh, well, yeah. So I had to raise it up and everything. And it makes for a really cool uh, it makes for a really cool walkway now because now, if you start in the trailer, you have the ability to, to shoot above it and then crouch under to be able to shoot the bugs when they come over. And the layering I did was pretty cool too. So as you can tell right now, here's the foundational floor, right? And then we go up and we have multiple different layers. So first of all, this is the first layer that everything was going to be built on. As you can tell, there is a really big problem with the uh, stone tops of the stone stairs. Uh, sticking through this so I didn't like that so I raised it up a little bit to just cover it up with the pillars but then uh, I didn't like how it wasn't high enough so then I raised it up even more <laughs> because obviously uh, we couldn't shoot above uh, the, the wall anymore uh, so because I raised the walls up and everything and I think it comes it, it makes a really nice staircase so if you can see right here uh, we have a really intricate kind of staircase system right here that goes to multiple different levels and then goes all the way down here. I'm very a big fan of this and I really, really like it. So very happy with that. And it's easy to walk around. Dude, isn't that pretty cool? Now, you're probably wondering, there's a bunch of uh, things missing. Uh, for for starter, this file that we're I'm showcasing is uh, a backup of a, a really old, uh, older, earlier... Um, uh, cut that we were uh, doing so there's no big turrets we added those later in the trailer because we wanted more uh, more of a bigger scene basically so we added bigger turrets and I think that's kind of it there might be some other stuff that's changed that got destroyed during the filming like for instance the antenna right here <laughs> it's broken 
uh, cause it's all damaged. Forgot to repair it. Oops. Oh well. No. And then there's a bunch of people scattered that were used for filming. So anyways, uh, next thing we have is kind of this outer area. So we have this kind of, um, I don't know what it was called in the movies, but it was basically kind of like a awning that goes out with the little stairs and then pillars go down. So I kind of tried to represent it. Uh, on this side, it's not properly done. So I kind of just, you know, phoned it in because technically when we were going through different shots and everything, we developed that we're gonna go, we're gonna film mostly from the front and maybe the back and that right side. So this side wasn't really gonna be filmed, but it did need to be completed-ish. So that way, if we did, uh, you know, it wouldn't be so boring. So I kind of did that. On this side, though, you can see that it's definitely a proper finish, which looks really cool. And it's really, it's a really nice little detail, I think. And I did wish, I wish the, uh, uh, the metal, I, I wish uh, we painted it all to be one color, because in the movie, it's all kind of like a whitish tone, uh, you know, whitish, bluish tone. Uh, so, but we, you know, I, I wanted to mix match with the stone, and I think it still came out really good, so I'm very happy with that. You also can see we have ourselves some support beams. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, how dumb is it for your, your wall to have support beams outside? Because the bugs or anything else could just destroy them and then your wall would collapse over, right? And I was just amazed that in, in this movie that they were they had their supports outside. I was like, alright, whatever. I'll do it too, but it doesn't look it doesn't make any damn sense. Uh but yeah, so we got some electrical cables and we, you know, just pillar and some more electrical cables, bada bing, bada boom. It does, you know, does the job good and I think it adds a little bit more uh, detail to the base. And then lastly, we have kind of the uh, inner areas with the stairs. So I already talked about this one over here. Uh, this one I wanted to do different. Uh, sadly, uh, I didn't. It's it's actually it seems like it's symmetrical, but it's not technically. It's a little bit off, but I'm not gonna really show you how a little off it is because <laughs> uh, I was building on a time crunch. Uh, and then we have the base and the uh, the little barracks base in the background which is really cool and we also have the uh, cute little antennas which you saw earlier uh which i think are really nice uh it's just a pillar some triangle ceilings with some triangle roof pieces and then a pillar uh pipe placed on the sides and that's it it's pretty damn it's simple but it looks really good actually i'm i'm really happy with that and yeah and that's it we have a small little door it's like the only door to get in and out <laughs> Technically, if you want to talk about accuracy, over here there should be like some sort of drawbridge door, but I really wanted to keep the base clean, so I didn't add that. So instead, I just added the door down here, which is the, the technically it's the deepest part. And I could have made the door a, a, a full size door, uh, which it, if you can tell, so this is how I did it. So I just lowered some walls down to then place the door on. And first, I did down here, but it was too low. Uh, so then I raised it up a little bit. Technically, I think I could have raised it up just a, like maybe like a half half a ceiling up high, a wall. I could have probably done that just a little bit more. But this lined up pretty perfect. Um, I like this kind of design. It looked really good. Plus, in the shots in the trailer, you definitely see it pretty well on this angles and stuff without the reflection and stuff. So it looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's the tech base. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Uh, it's I would say it's mini. I would say it's a medium to hard build, but overall it was very satisfying to build. Anyways, let's get on to the next one because we have two more to go over. All right, welcome to the next base. So uh, this one's pretty funny in my honest opinion because I think you really only see like kind of two shots. So you see like right here, and then I think you see right here them getting lifted. So you technically don't even see like half the build. Uh, which is a shame, but that's what happens during filming. You know, you kind of build the set and you overachieve build it because you don't know what's going to change because what if someone doesn't like this angle? Well, maybe we can do it over here now because look at this angle. This one looks pretty cool. This one could have even worked even better in my opinion because uh, I like that angle better. Uh, but, you know, I think with the sunrise, uh, by the way, the sun is just normal, so... Uh, with the sun angle, I believe that it worked well, really well at this angle. So uh, we're still happy with that. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is a pretty simple build. It's just a bunch of cliffs, uh, builds with a bunch of, it's just foundations with, um, buildings on top of it. So, oh, so there we go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's just a bunch of foundations. So these are just foundations, you know, uh, and switch back to the fall. Yep. And, you know, it's just, just simple stuff. Pretty simple, just to make it look good. We did a lot, it's funny, I did a lot of this back in the day with Aberration Trailer. Um, so, you know, I just took that. I was like, oh yeah, we could do that. Easy. Easy, easy peasy. Down here is a little different. So down here, we have, uh, we have kind of this setup. So I kind of started laying this out as kind of like the main market area. Uh, cause I figured this would probably maybe be the main area that, you know, people would be at. And honestly, it's the more interesting area. So that's probably why we filmed here. Uh, this little building is interesting cause you have the triangle pieces, but then the walls are out here. And then I got rid of, I didn't use that and feeling there. It's pretty simple. You know, a lot of this, this build is pretty simple in my opinion. It really is. Uh, and then you have this little house, nothing too special here. Probably could have put pillars on the side, but meh. Oh, I did it right there. Oh, I didn't even notice. I missed pill. I missed pillars there. Oops. Oh well. Well, I guess you don't see it anyways. Did I put pillars there? Really? Wait, how did I? Oh, this must have been the last build I met. I. This is probably the last building I built, and I forgot all about it. I had to build all these sets really, really, really quickly. Um, so I didn't really have too much time. I actually had to. I had to work overtime. To build this stuff but i'm very passionate about making sure the sets look perfect uh so it was worth it uh but yeah that's kind of it there's the bugs from the trailer uh, i was the one riding in the white one uh, i was also the one riding in the orange one on the end of the scene uh, and i'm also the person that got the trike pregnant and stuff to do I'm, I'm always in all the shots but all right that's it that's that's it for this build let me go to the final one which i think is uh really nice i really like that one all right, the last and final area is the birthing area. And let me tell you right now, here's a this, this trailer thing. The two most difficult shots in the trailer were birthing and impregnation, okay? So if anyone asks, those were the two most annoying shots to get because of the different camera angles and stuff and lighting and then the, uh, I just, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot to get it perfect. So we spent the most time trying to get those two shots perfect uh, for the trailer, so. Yeah, anyways, so uh, this is the only circle technique in the whole trailer. And uh, it's basically pretty simple. I mean, if you haven't seen people build circles, I mean, I don't know what you're doing, but uh, it's a perfect circle. And if everything, all the builds are technically aligned into the circle, except for that one. Uh, I could have probably made it aligned, but whatever. Uh, and basically I wanted to have it kind of originally we we're gonna do like small like a small broken oh, down like wall pieces around that's why they're extended all the way out here uh, but I kind of frowned upon that because I really just really like the grass just coming in right into the base it just looks really natural and I, I mean we, I usually build everything in a PvE standpoint, right? So in PvE, you know, uh, this is how your base would look. Granted, not here, because I'm pretty sure Giga's spawn right here, and Rex's. So this would not be a good spot to build in, uh, unless you had a wall. <laughs> but, you know, you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, the other thing I wanted to do is more of a modern barn style with the with the metal roof pieces. So we got the metal. Now, obviously this is a problem when you're filming. You kinda got this shine, but uh, he made, Matt made it work. Uh, I believe he may have turned down the layer or light bloom off uh, when he was filming in this area. So you wouldn't get these kind of shots like that. Uh, but I really like the style and build of this building because it's pretty damn simple. I mean, it's like a three by, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a three by five or six and the backside is technically what holds everything up. So you got the you got your uh, angled pieces here. You got your wall. Then you got your ceiling. You got a fence foundation on top of that, and then that's it. Just snap uh, ramps and roofs, and that's it. Bada bing, bada boom. You're pretty much done. Um, you got little pillars for uh, fake supports, and I think it looks really damn good. Then we have over here with the farmhouse and the silo. The silo we have built many, 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 many times. So nothing too special about that. 
Uh, and then we also have the farmhouse that is a fake farmhouse because, well, it's not fully built. And also, this little house over here is not built either. You don't need to finish the whole build uh, because, well, most of the time you don't see the backside. And I perfectly eyeballed place this, this windmill. Dude, I love this spot right here. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I, I literally eyeball placed this right here, and it was like, oh, that's perfect. Done. One and done. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and that's kind of it. That's the build. Um, this, um, well, I guess there is one more thing. Um, under here, so uh, to get this to float, technically I could have extended the foundations here and underneath them and stuff them, uh, but they, they weren't snapping here because the ground is just a little bit too high. I could have raised it, but it was just so much easier at the time to just bring pillars down because I already brought them down to like here. So I was like, ah, eh, pillar, 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 done. Pillar, 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 done. There, and there you go. And I really wanted to give uh, more depth so I didn't really want to do a ceiling connected to the wall going out. I wanted the ceiling to be aft into the wall so that way you kind of get this nice little look. Uh, personally, I think it looks really nice. And then you got this nice little gap right here. So you got some, there's just like a bunch of different shapes basically happening with this, this one little build. And it looks really, really good. And I'm really happy with that. Uh, and yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe and follow. And I'll definitely make sure I have more trailer build videos for upcoming other stuff uh, since I'm full-time hired at Studio Wildcard. I guess I'll be making all their trailers now, officially, even though I already I have been for the last like six years. <laughs> uh, truly amazing. <clears throat> Absolutely truly amazing. And I do want to say this one last thing. Uh, it has been an honor the last eight years playing this fantastic game uh, From playing it on my really shit computer to now being hired full-time It has truly been a remarkable experience and I cannot wait for the future of This game and ASA and ARC 2 uh, I've been super involved in those projects and I cannot wait for you guys to see What is in store for ASA because I have had a lot of I, I've dipped my toes in a lot in that, so <laughs> it's going to be good. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Have a good one.